Okay, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Mr. Dan. Now you guys can see my little granddaughter Haley's with us today. Uh, we've already done part one, which was the pancake, I mean the potato pancake cook-off. Now part two, which is her recipe. And she's going to show you that recipe and we're going to get right down to it. So then the, after this video, we'll make another video and we're going to taste test them. And we're going to see whose recipe reigns supreme of the potato pancake. Let's get to it. Okay, first things first, we're gonna turn on the old griddle. And I gotta get me some cooking spray. Okay, so Haley, what do we got for your ingredients? Okay, so we have four potatoes and one small onion, two tablespoons of cornstarch, two teaspoons of salt and pepper, two green onions, and two whole eggs beat. Beat. And what do we call this? We, we, we shredded that, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're gonna mix. Okay, now we mix. Okay, so uh, Haley and I beat up the, uh, or shredded up the uh, potato and the onion, and then we squeezed all the liquid, as much as we can get out. Me and her ain't that strong no more. So we got as much liquid as we could out of there. Okay, so now Haley's gonna go to it, and we're gonna mix up our ingredients. All right, so two green onions. There you go with the green onion, good, good. I'm gonna do the... That's good, yeah. And that goes the cornstarch. She's sprinkling that around. Then our salt and pepper. Yes, yeah, salt and pepper. Squeeze it around. That's it. Okay. Now we're going to get a fork and mix it up. Okay, so we're Miss Haley's mixing everything pretty thoroughly. I know it seems a little dry at this point, but we're going to take care of that. After we add in the whole. Yep, we got to add those mix. eggs in. You're right. And then we're going to continue to mix it again. Hmm? What we're trying to do is incorporate everything as best as we can to get these babies to come out perfect. Don't worry, that's fine. You're not cooking if you're not making a mess. Okay. Yeah, don't make a mess. We're, we're not messy cooks. <laughs> okay, we're going to put the egg in now. And Haley's going to take care of that. Whoop. Okay. That's all right. Bad. Okay, just mix and mix and mix. Thoroughly mix everything, incorporate it all, all together, make it all nice and blended. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're going to have fun, though. We ain't done today yet. Nope, we got not more stuff we're doing today, cooking-wise. So as you can see, we're mixing here, so we don't we don't want no white powdery substance left. No, though, don't you guys joke around now. This is serious. No white powdery substance <laughs> left in the bowl. Okay. Now, like Haley said earlier, well, she didn't say it to you guys, but when she was making these in school, they looked like hash browns. <laughs> but this is a German potato recipe. We fried them in oil, though. That's why they looked like hash browns more. Okay. So now we're going to get ready and uh, grease up the slip and slide on the grill, and we'll get to it. Okay, we're having a little technical difficulties, so uh, I'm going to be uh, putting these on the grill. Uh, and we'll be cooking them up. So, anyway, I'm using a small, I mean, medium-sized portion scoop. You guys could use a spoon or anything you like. Just take it and plop down, and then use the back end of the spatula. Try to keep it a little round if you can. It doesn't have to be done too thick. It smells good, huh, Hal? Yes, very good. Oh, very good. This is your recipe. <laughs> I'm very excited. Me too. I'm excited. I bet these guys watching this is excited too. You're making them hungry. That's sizzle. Sizzle sells, don't forget that. You ever walk into a place and they're starting to cook and you hear the sizzle? Yeah. Makes you hungry, you want to buy more. <laughs> Still a lot of excess liquid. Yeah. I think that really came from the egg. Yeah. Which came first, the egg or the potato? <laughs> <laughs> Tough decision. 
then. Right, tough question. It's a tough question, huh? Yes. So, are we going to let these cook till they get nice and golden brown? How long it's going to take? It depends how wet your potatoes are. That's one thing. And we did squeeze the heck out of these. We didn't have much liquid left, so. Most of the liquid probably came from all the yeah, egg. I think it came from the egg. See how easy this is here? No, no burning the fingers. I like how yours are all bigger than the one that I did. It's just very tiny. Well, you got, you got little fingers. I got tiny hands, okay? Good. But you know, I made the batch that I made. I made them bigger. Yeah. Penny Dad said, "Oh, you make them, you cook them like pancakes." Well, that's the way I like my pancakes. Big. The big pancakes. Yeah. I love pancakes. Oh yeah, well. Especially chocolate chip pancakes. Chocolate chip. And we're gonna, be, we're gonna be doing something later on with some chocolate, right? Yes, I'm very excited for that. I know you're excited. My favorite thing ever. Favorite no, you can't snack. say that because you said you said the pizza was your favorite thing ever. So how many favorite thing ever do you have? You have a bookload of them or what? Okay, it's favorite food. Favorite food. Okay. Okay, so there you have it. When are we supposed to flip them? When they get brown. Can't flip them yet. That's too soon. See, you can't get excited when you do stuff like this. It's got to cook for at least seven minutes, probably, on one side. That's just on one side. Then you got the other side to go. So, total 14 minutes. Oh, well, yeah, give or take. But it, it, it's not always about time. It's, uh, are they done? Because some people might have a, their, their temperature gauge on their things might be wrong. So, it's not really 350. But see how this is staying together right now? Look, see how it's sliding? Yeah. We're getting close. So we'll be back in a minute, guys. Okay, so uh, we did a little check. It's been cooking probably about six minutes or so, maybe seven. So Mr. Dan's flipping them. There's a little queenie over here. She's afraid of the hot grill. <laughs> but this is her recipe. Let us not forget. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, because we're going to flip them again, we're just going to give this a little spritz on top of the potato pancake. So the next time we flip it, it'll have some slip and slide on there, but that'll also help it brown up a little more. So we'll be back in about five minutes. Okay, guys, these are cooking a little longer uh, because uh, they were like raw potatoes, so we're just making sure they're cooked through. And as you can see, nice and golden brown. And they're staying together just perfect. And what I've been doing, I spray a little bit of cooking spray on this and then flip it over. And uh, that's what we got. They're just about there. So let me get this a couple more minutes. Listen to that. You hear that? It's called crisp. So give me a couple minutes, we'll be done. Okay, guys, there you have it. Uh, we're going to be putting these on a plate, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back now, and uh, as you can see, we plated them up. They look delicious. Uh, so, we're back in a second. Join us in tomorrow's video. Fun. <laughs> That's okay. We're, well, see you guys uh, on the next video for the... Taste test of the challenge is Mr. Dan and Ms. Haley saying stay safe and we'll see you tomorrow.